Between the lines, please, in three, two, one, go. Let's see what our space explorers can do with a sandstorm in the way. Mad Towns going for some hatch panel placements. We have some cargo deliveries not quite lighting up for Mulan. Graybots over on the Blue Alliance. Looks like Graybots have a hatch panel. That might be one or two placed already in that first 30 seconds now. Gold Strikers going for a hatch panel themselves, trying to get that nose cone covered up, I believe. Looks like 973 Graybots. They're going for the other nose cone hatch panel. It's placed on successfully on the Blue Alliance cargo ship. Madtown spinning out of the way of the defensive robot Pirate Revolution, trying to camp out directly in the path of Madtown. Madtown swivels by, loading up, closing up level one. It looks like hatch panel. Already some cargo in place on level two for that Red Alliance rocket. More hatch panels dropping in the loading station. Madtown placing one on level one. Level one now closed up. All four, four hatch panels so far placed. But they're still encountering that defense from Pirate Revolution on blue. Meanwhile, Graybots loading up cargo in the cargo ship. Center field for the Blue Alliance. 10 point differential right now. Advantage to red team. Madtown Robotics grabbing the next hatch panel required. They need to go up high to level three now. They are getting some heavy defense from Pirate Revolution standing in their way. Madtown switched tactics and now they're moving to the center, getting the nose cone of the cargo ship filled up. 2473 on the Blue Alliance. Gold Strikers, they've got some cargo. Just a little bit, fell a little bit short of their cargo placement goals. But now we're at T minus 40 seconds remaining. Graybots, they got some more cargo and they're moving their way towards that ship. T minus 35. There are now five hatch panels placed. Madtown's trying to get the sixth one on that rocket, and that's all six for Red Alliance. They should need two more pieces of cargo, three more pieces of cargo, in order to fully prepare that rocket for takeoff in T minus 20 seconds if they want the additional ranking point. 69.81 on the Red Alliance. That's Clockwork Soldiers. They're making their way up onto the platform. They're going to get a little push from Madtown, and now Madtown's going up to level three. They do this successfully, and that's an additional ranking point. They were not able to get that red rocket on the Alliance side, completely ready for takeoff. All three red, blue robots are up on the app platform. Great bots on level three as well. Looks like both teams will earn a ranking point for the purposes of their hab climbs. The score of 80 points, blue Alliance 64, and both alliances earning an extra ranking point. We're getting that hab bonus at the end of the match.